Emotional testimony today in the subway chokehold trial of Daniel Penny. Jurors hearing about the final moments of Jordan Neely's life. A strap hanger testified that it looked like Penny, a Marine veteran now charged with manslaughter, was holding Neely just too tight. Prosecutors showed dramatic video to jurors of a man bending down over Neely, who was motionless on the subway floor as Penny looked on. Here's Darla Miles. Another high school student on her way home from school testifying Thursday morning at the Daniel Penny trial. Morielen Sanchez calling 911 after seeing everything go down on that Uptown F train last May. So there was a guy in the train saying that he's ready to go to jail. He was going to harm people in the train. So a guy who stepped in and now he's holding him down. The 18 year old telling the court initially she was relieved when Penny took Neely down. Defense attorneys asking her, were you afraid that Jordan Neely would get up and make good on his threats? Moriel and Sanchez answering no. You didn't think he was holding him overly tightly, did you? Sanchez answering yes. You did think that? Sanchez again answering yes. Another strap hanger, Johnny Grima, testifying he tried to intervene after seeing Neely was not responding, telling the court today, I told him to roll him over on his side so he don't choke, saying, I tried to pour water on his forehead, but Daniel Penny said stop. He said stop. That moment of Penny preventing Grima from pouring water on Neely's forehead, seen here in cell phone video. And a 38-year-old woman, a prosecution witness with testimony supporting defense arguments about Neely's behavior, testifying, I assumed he was having some sort of mental breakdown, that his threats were very traumatic and very believable, and that everyone was frozen. I truly thought I was going to die. Defense attorneys for Daniel Penny left court frustrated today, accusing the prosecution of introducing evidence they were told not to introduce, also saying the court is allowing inflammatory statements about their client. They asked for a mistrial. That motion was denied.